Confused about the cosmos? Can't tell a planet from a star? Then give us just five minutes and we'll show you what they are. Jack Horkheimer, Stargazer, tells you all about the night sky and the biggest show of all, the universe. And now, this week's episode. An impressive meeting of planets and stars during the first two weeks of June. Greetings, greetings, fellow stargazers. Let me tell you that June night skies will be opening like a lovely cosmic flower with several meetings and lineups between planets and stars. Let me show you. Okay, we've got our skies set up for Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday evenings, June 5th, 6th, 7th, and 8th, just after it gets dark facing west, where you will see three stars, which if joined by lines, would look like a triangle, and several stars, which if we draw lines between them, would look like a backward question mark or a sickle. Now together, these two patterns make up the front and rear of Leo the lion. Leo's brightest star is called Regulus. But if we take the connecting lines in Leo away, you will notice that there is one extra star-like object almost next to Regulus, which isn't supposed to be there. And that, my friends, is 4,000 mile wide, half the size of planet Earth, planet number four, Rouge Gold Mars. And from Saturday through Tuesday, Mars and Regulus will be super close, only one degree apart, which is really close cosmically speaking. So catch them now, because after Tuesday, Mars will speed away from Regulus at a fairly rapid rate. Next, if you also go out this Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday, an hour before sunrise and look southeast, the brightest light you see will be the king of the planets, planet number five, 88,000 mile wide, Jupiter. So huge we could line up 11 Earths across its middle. But if you use a pair of binoculars, and look just above Jupiter, you'll see a faint blue-green dot, which is the seventh planet, 32,000 mile wide Uranus, which is one and a half billion miles farther away than Jupiter. And on the fifth, sixth, seventh, and eighth, Uranus will be only one half a degree away from Jupiter, twice as close as Mars is to Regulus on those same days. So please don't miss this rare opportunity to use Jupiter to find Uranus. Finally, on Friday evening, June 11th, which is my birthday, about an hour after sunset, face west-northwest. And you will see brilliant planet number two, 8,000 mile wide Earth-sized Venus, lined up in an absolute straight line with the two brightest stars of Gemini, Pollux, and Castor. Nifty. So there you have it. On Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday, the 5th, 6th, 7th, and 8th, just after dark, look west, and the red planet Mars will be having a super close meeting with Leo's brightest star, Regulus. And also on June 5th, 6th, 7th, and 8th, an hour before sunrise, look southeast, and you'll see a dazzling Jupiter. And through a pair of binoculars just above it, less than one half a degree away, planet number seven, Uranus which is never easy to find unless you have another planet close by as a finder, like Jupiter. Then on June 11th, an hour after sunset, look west-northwest, and Venus and the Gemini twins will be performing a celestial chorus line. What a great way to begin June. Keep looking up. Make the Stars Your Own is available on DVD or VHS for $19.95. In addition, Stargazing with Jack Horkheimer, Cosmic Comics for the Sky Watcher is also available for $19.95.